Central Oregonians and local businesses are hosting fundraisers for Ukrainian relief. Bola Badabo has been tracking the efforts and joins us with more. Bola? Yes, Lee, the community has really come together to do what they can. Just yesterday, the Sisters Movie House joined in on the effort. Fundraisers in Central Oregon continue raising money for Ukraine. Starting Friday, the Sisters Movie House is showing the Ukrainian film The Guide for one week. 100% of the money raised from ticket sales will go to Ukraine. I think the, the folks of Sisters in particular, but I think throughout Central Oregon, are super concerned about what's going on in the Ukraine. I see that uh, in our business. I see it at our church. Um, and this is just a very easy way for people to do something tangible. It's also a chance to learn more about the country's history. If you want to help in Ukraine, buy tickets for the film and come and see it or not. Other Central Oregonians, like Evgenia Eager, a Russian-Ukrainian living in Bend, says her baking fundraiser became popular quickly. The number of orders she thought she would get over several weeks, she got only in three days. I took a 32 orders. The fundraiser ended Sunday. Sasha Spector is a Ukrainian-American woman living in Bend and raised over $17,000 to support those in Ukraine, including her family members seeking safety and in need of resources. She looks forward to the continued support. Thad Lodge, owner of Marcello's Casina Italiana in Sun River, raised more than $23,000 by hosting a special dinner where 100% of the proceeds also went to supporting Ukraine. It's not just your country. It's not just America government helping the other government. It's actually real people helping real people out there. A Redmond author, Heather McCorkle, also helped raise money for a relief fund through a book auction last week. Lee, back to you.